Hi there, I'm Matt from the Underground Cookery School and today I'm going to do a video cookery lesson for you. All of you are going to learn how to make hollandaise sauce with me. I'm only messing around. Right, right. the first thing I'm going to do is add uh, some um, white wine vinegar and just I want to bring that up to boiling point. Um, I've got a pan on the go here and I'm going to add a little bit of butter. I'm not going to add all my butter, just a little bit of it. Wipe my hand over there, just to grease the bottom of the pan. Um, what, what we're doing is the pan is sitting on top of um, uh, boiling water, and I've got my I've got three egg yolks here, so I'm going to just throw those in. Again, check the website um, if you want precise measurements. And what's going to happen now for my hollandaise is I'm just going to add knobs of butter and cook that through till I get a nice emulsified hollandaise sauce. Um, and I'm going to add a tiny little drop of white wine vinegar and lemon juice at the end. Um, so when you come back, we will have um, a perfectly cooked hollandaise. In fact, it's already coming together now. The most important thing, obviously, is, here we go, there's our red wine, our white wine vinegar, rather. So that can go in, just keep it moving. That's going to really give it the acidity that we need and then that goes, butter goes back in just to thicken it out. Obviously the key to this particular uh, recipe is to ensure that you don't end up with scrambled eggs. So I'm just going to keep going, add that final bit of butter and we're almost there. So when you come back we're going to have a beautifully emulsified hollandaise sauce. Well I've got a lovely thick uh, emulsified hollandaise sauce here. I'm just going to empty that it's sort of lovely unctuous and it's going to have that lovely lemony flavour to it. I'm going to put that in a little ramekin. There, we'll clean that up in a sec. There we go. Um, and actually what I've got prepared are some lovely fish cakes here, um, which we would garnish this dish with. And then just for effect, as I always like, a little bit of salad along the side. Um, but that's how you would make a hollandaise sauce.